Hello, welcome to Wednesday Prayer Pause. Pastor Farrow here. This is the Wednesday after Labor Day. God's blessings to you. It's always a strange week after we've had a holiday. Everybody always wonders what day of the week it is. I'm recording this on Tuesday. It's not Labor Day. It's Tuesday. I have to keep reminding myself it's Tuesday. Whatever day of the week it is, God is with us. We serve a timeless God who is with us each step of the way. I'd like to do morning prayer today. We haven't done our morning prayers. Uh, page 298. Page 298 in the ELW. We haven't done our morning prayers for a while. We've been doing other types of prayer. Page 298. And our psalm today will be the psalm for this coming weekend, Psalm 116. Let us begin worship. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall pro proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to God, our light and our life. O come, let us worship and praise. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before God's presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to the Lord with psalms. For you, Lord, are a great God and a great ruler above all gods. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. In your hand are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also yours. The sea is yours, for you made it. And your hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For the Lord is our God, and we are the people of God's pasture and the sheep of God's hand. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Give glory to God, our light and our life. O oh, come, let us worship and praise. A reading from Psalm 116. I love the Lord who has heard my voice and listened to my supplication. For the Lord has given ear to me whenever I called. The cords of death entangled me. The anguish of the grave came upon me. I came to grief and sorrow. And I called upon the name of the Lord. O oh Lord, I pray you save my life. Gracious is the Lord and righteous. Our God is full of compassion. The Lord watches over the innocent. I was brought low and God saved me. Turn again to your rest, O my soul, for the Lord has dealt well with you. For you have rescued my life from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from stumbling. I will walk in the presence of the Lord in the land of the living. Let us pray. Mighty God of mercy, we thank you for the resurrection dawn bringing the glory of our risen Lord who makes every day new. Especially today we thank you for the sustaining goodness of your creation. All creation shouts your name all creation moans your name and groans your name. All of creation points to you. Especially we thank you for the new creation in Christ and all our gifts of healing and forgiveness. For the gifts of relationship with others, for the communion of faith in the church. We thank you for St. Matthew, Evangelical Lutheran Church. 
all who walk in and out of these doors, all who are touched by this ministry today, those who will be touched by this ministry tomorrow and in the future, those who have traditionally been touched by this ministry. Merciful God of might, renew this weary world. Heal the hurts of all your children and bring about your peace for all in Christ Jesus, the living Lord. Especially we pray for those who govern nations of the world, for the people and countries ravaged by strife or warfare, for all who work for peace and international harmony, for all who strive to save the earth from carelessness and destruction, for the Church of Jesus Christ in every land. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> we pray today for <clears throat> those who are on the front lines in this COVID crisis. We pray for the first responders and the rescuers and the rebuilders who are on the first line and front line of cleanup for Hurricane Ida. We pray for those who are on the front line and those in the back alleys in Afghanistan. We pray for those who are in political exile. We pray for those who are in prison. We pray for those who are in pain. We pray for those who are grieving. We pray for those who do not know how to pray. We pray for those who <clears throat> <clears throat> do not know you. Or turn away from you. We pray for those who live in fear today. <clears throat> we pray for those who will die tomorrow. We pray that you will give us perfect peace in all that we say and do. Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this brand new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. In all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. <clears throat> Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. <clears throat>